Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel with Website Candy. And today what I want to talk to you guys about is workflow. And how do you guys work on your computer? Me as a web developer, as you can see right down here, the little black dot right here, I am on Yosemite uh, operating system for Apple that's coming in the fall as a developer. I have early preview in reference to being in beta and you know being their little test dummy. Um, and then you can see iTunes has it underneath there, Camtasia is what I'm recording with, system preferences, Dreamweaver Photoshop, and looks like that's all and then I have Word and that's all the applications I have going on right now. So right here I have on my desktop which is Safari and this is the actual website that I'm working on right now and this is what I have going on at the present moment so over here if I slide to the right you can see my word document that I'm working from in reference to build the website right here on space 3 is Dreamweaver right here is Photoshop with a bunch of different images that I'm working with and over here I'm listening to uh, Angela Bonafield um, old-school music artist in reference to iTunes but the main thing that I really want you to take note of here is that how I keep my desktops really clean and everything's really efficient to where I know what's going on when I come down here to iTunes if I right click and right under here it says options this is this desktop so I am actually eligible to take this Safari window and bring it over here to desktop 2 and it is stay here as long as I keep it there however if I close let me go ahead and show the example in real time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quit by hitting Command Q there. I'm gonna quit Safari altogether, and I'm still on Desktop 2. And if I pull up on my trackpad here, you can see my different desktops. And Desktop 2 holds this wallpaper, and you can see the document there. And here's Desktop 1. So right here on Desktop 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Safari on Desktop 2, and what you're going to notice is that. Safari browser my application is going to automatically bounce me to desktop one because this is what I told Safari that I want to do so I took a little bit of time and I made sure that I set my applications to where I want them in reference to when they open up I can open up Safari and desktop one I can open up Dreamweaver and desktop three I can open up iTunes and desktop five as an example because I want to have some sense of control as I'm working and I don't want to have to go rearrange my desktop uh, my my workspaces every single time uh, that I you know decide I want to do some work here on my computer which is every single day so while Safari is loading up there I might have to come back over here and pause that video because I do have a video built within this website that automatically starts to play uh, to grab attention as, as soon as you know they come to the website and they load it up here so you know here's Safari right here and then I have over here the old website that I'm converting them to and as you notice that you know everything is really tidy and everything's really efficient to where everything's looking good now what I can do is I can push up on my trackpad here and I can see my desktops at a glance there so if I'm over here on browser one or window one and I push up and I don't necessarily like this song I can just jump right over here to iTunes and start to um, you know go in there and change the song do whatever I need to do you notice if I push down if I have multiple items on a desktop I can separate those items right there um, all these images right here with Photoshop you see I can separate them and I can see everything at a snapshot so if there is something that's sitting behind something that I didn't necessarily notice was there I am able to get to it one thing that you are noticing let me go ahead and minimize iTunes here one thing you are noticing is that this guy right here finder is going everywhere with me he has followed me everywhere I go because I use it so often I'm always in and out of finder um, doing different things you can hit command T right inside finder to open up a new tab you can hit command N inside a finder and get a new finder window if you decide you want to but I don't need those extra tabs or those extra windows so bringing it back over here to desktop one one thing I do want to show you is when I right click on finder under options it says all desktops so that's the reason why we have finder 
displaying everywhere we go in reference to all the different desktops. Here's another helpful tip and I'm just going to let you guys get out of here. If I decide that I just don't have enough space and I just need another application, say I'm working with another application such as Illustrator which I work with on a day-to-day -day basis as well, I can just take my mouse and I can just do the cursor over to the right here and I can add a new window, a new desktop right here as far as desktop 6. So let's go ahead and click here and let's go ahead and scroll over. That's two, three, four, five, and six. So here's my new desktop. I can change the wallpaper and do whatever I decide I want to do with it, but I'm not really going to use that desktop there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mouse over it. I'm going to just hit the X there to get rid of it, and it automatically is going to advance me right back here to desktop five, uh, where I do have a desktop set there. So, you know, this could really help you out. This right here could be extremely helpful to you in reference to kind of just helping you with your workflow on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have an Apple computer, I suggest you go ahead and try it out. If you have a PC, I would look for any type of alternative in reference to um, creating this atmosphere or just investing yourself into a Mac. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will talk to you guys later. And thanks for checking me out. Goodbye now.